Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a follow-up to yesterday's video on the Ram 9 bare bones. I said I was going to do one where it's configured, and here it is. The bare bones was an absolute evaporating machine. I mean, it sent the enemy's pixels to Jupiter. As you recall, I compared a bare bones to one that's configured, and here's the configuration, and we looked at the differences. In this case, I'm going to do a little bit different from normal. Red is going to be good good for the configured. Highlighted red is something to take note of. And the bullet velocity is 100 meters per second better for this configuration. But getting a bit deeper, the aim down sight speed is 33 milliseconds better. The ADS movement speed is 0.6 meters per second better with attachments on it. And that's how I built this thing. And then the sprint to fire speed is 16 milliseconds better. Now you also recall that I said that I built for four things. Range, aim down sight speed, ADS movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. And in this build, all of them are better. But nothing comes free, so the downside, slightly worse hip fire, but it's not recognizable. You won't feel it with this weapon. If yesterday's weapon evaporated people, this one is a Star Trek phaser. I mean, it sends these people to Jupiter. But let's take this configured Ram 9 onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did to Grandpa's enemies. I think you're going to like it. All right, let's get after it. Of the aim down sight speed range, aim down sight movement speed, and sprint to fire speed, if I have to give one of them up, I'm usually willing to deal with away range because you don't lose significant range in general with attachments now i'm willing to give up aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed sometimes if i need to carry extra bullets because 20 rounds is just not enough this weapon has 32 rounds natively you can see that most of my gags are coming using the aim down sight movement speed like that one. Now there will be a bonus game after the F4 pops its chute. Hopefully it won't leave it on the runway like I told you I did yesterday. But I think this gun is basically unfair. I mean, I, I played, I think, eight free-for-alls with it because I just didn't want to stop. There, you want some chips with your gacamole there because it didn't matter what the range was close far in between this is a gacking machine and it puts out bullets so fast and you start with 32 rounds and you can tune it for three of the four the range actually four of the four you can tune it for a little better range little better aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed and significantly better aim down sight movement speed strafe speed just trying to get my situational awareness there somebody gacked my intended victim oh there's somebody there i know they saw me <laughs> he definitely saw me whoa Pull out the Renetti and buy the farm. Oh, there comes somebody. Wow, a lot going on there. I tend to watch a lot of kill cams. If, if I think the person's moving a little bit too fast, there's some strafe speed there. Aiming high for the gourd where the higher damage is. And if somebody's already damaged, I mean, the time to kills are based on a fully healthy enemy and I think people tend to forget that take the Renetti finish them off my Renetti is still bare bones I need to do something about that <laughs> oh but oftentimes the enemy already has some damage so that throws the time to kill out the window meaning you're gonna kill them a lot faster so the headshots whereas on a fully healthy enemy, they may not be worth much. But on one that has taken some damage, 
they can cut your kill time significantly. Well, look at that guy, how fast he's running around. Come on back here. That guy, too. And there's a Snickers victory. For Grandpa, the gun is completely unfair. Hooya, hooya. The Ram 9 is unfair. I mean, it is a guacamole machine. And it was a fairly decent lobby. Didn't have on headsets, so I, I couldn't hear the insults thrown my way. Played a second. Ho oh, ho. Get destroyed. Buying the farm. Very fast weapon. Very fast aim down sight. Very fast sprint to fire. I mean, I think it's probably the recoil that makes the pros use the Rival 9. And I'm, I'm not sure if this one has been GA'd, meaning they can't use it. But it's kind of, sort of, but not quite. There's a guy coming with two weapons at me. And I'm behind by six Gax. It's kind of, sort of, but not really <laughs> like the Fennec from Modern Warfare 2. Because the Fennec puts out rounds a bit quicker. Look at that. Strafe speed. The guy couldn't follow me. Sometimes I wish I could see it from their point of view. With Black Ops 6, they're going to have theater mode. I got a little revenge there. Step on my bouncing Betty. A little hip fire action. I mean, the weapon is just pristine. You can run around and rush. I know a lot of you say you like to rush. I assume you're not rushing. Look at that. Follow that guy through his dead sprint. This one you can rush with confidence. Whoa, where am I going? <laughs> Hit my head twice. I'm seeing stars. See, I, I'm not afraid to take on somebody at distance. Still behind three lives, but we've closed to being behind by three. Two, and I don't even know what killed me there. Still down by two. Don't f oh, what what was that guy doing? Was he trailblazing? Was he sniffing for to see when the horses from the posse came by? I'm just not a fan of the crouch movement. See if that got him. It did. So I'm one gack behind now. Two. Grow House has turned into people just camping in the back with marksman rifles and snipers, and that's it. So in order to gack them, you got to go in the back. We're tied now. Yeah. Hate crossfires. There goes a guy looking for the trail. He's actually Elvis, but I think I'm Elvis now. Well, I was. I am, I was, I am, I was. Put out the Mosquito drone, hoping it doesn't gack me. There's one, and I was out of bullets. Up by one, we gotta be relentless. Gotta take chances. And the Ram 9 has performed flawlessly. In a better player's hands, this thing I think would be unbeatable. I really do. Unless you get quick scoped or shot from across the map by somebody who's ADS already. 29 29, and there's the Snickers victory. Hoo ha! Like my new shirt, Tommy Bahama with an American flag sailfish. Thumbs up, ready for takeoff. So let me know if you've used this weapon. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.
secured the field. Mission accomplished.